Mm, give me a second and I try to guess how can I change my noise. Yeah. I already started the recording for today's Chaos Diversity and Inclusion Board Grouping meeting uh, on February 4th, 2019. Mm -hmm. And if anyone does not want this recording to be uploaded on YouTube or doesn't want us to record it, please let us know. Okay, so, um, well, first I, I remember to send the, uh, the reminder about the meeting of today, uh, two, three days ago, but then I forgot to send the reminder. So at the end, I really forgot about sending the reminder. So sorry, for, sorry about this. It's been a long trip to force them. Yes, uh, almost faster. Yeah, it was quite, quite interesting. Um, so we had uh, the first day and then I'm basically, uh, I'm looking for the agenda. Where do we have this? Oh, I posted in the chat. Oh, thank you. Okay, here I am. Um, so, well, the, the agenda for today is, uh, what about the ChaosCon, specifically ChaosCon tutorial? Uh, uh, revisit and update the goals for 2019. And if we get some feedback from ChaosCon or force them, update on last week's action items that, well, we have some notes after this. So I guess that uh, Georg and some others, you, you already updated this, so thank you very much. Review core contributors in terms of the list. And basically we have a set of pull requests and issues that we typically, if we have the time for this, we will review them. So uh, the first thing we're gonna start and we can extend the first uh, agenda proposal. Well, I don't know if we have any extra proposal, any of the people attending today. I see a new name here, Ryan Jones, maybe you can introduce yourself. Hey. Would you sure. Uh, I work with uh, the Linux Foundation on the Hyperledger project, and um, I just found out about this meeting, so I'm joining in. Welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So, uh, right, as you're new here, um, we have a scared. Uh, Thanks for uh, sharing this. So we ha this, this is the agenda, the document you have there linked. And we typically have weekly meetings. Uh, each time one of us is basically the facilitator in terms of sending the reminder, um, preparing the agenda. Um, uh, Georg is always a backup helping here. So this time he helped a bit around. So thank you very much, Georg, once again. Um, um, yeah. Oh, welcome, Nicole. Um, um, yeah. So this is this is our uh, basically set of meetings. So if you have any experience, proposal, uh, things you would like to discuss, it would be great to to have you on board. Um, Matt, I don't know if I know you, Matt. Do I know you. I normally come to the core group, but I decided to come to this one today. Uh, interesting to me. Okay. So you Matt already know the group and so on. The university. Okay, perfect. So uh, then, then it's 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 on my side. Okay, great. So well, hello everyone. Um, thank you for coming. Um, yeah. So uh, recapitulation of ChaosCon and force them. I think I'm the only one that attended both places. So I will I will do a small introduction. So on Friday we had the ChaosCon. We had around fifty attendees. Um, and then we had some specific topics on gender and diversity that we had uh, the working group uh, during the afternoon and for approximately an hour. So the goal of that session was to split the people attending the conference into uh, four or five groups, basically fill one of the templates that we are using for following all of the, all of the discussions. Uh, right, as you are in here, what we are proposing in general and here and the, and the other working groups is to follow a specific methodology, which is, uh, in this case, focused areas. Then we define specific questions and then we define uh, certain metrics related to this. So in this way, we have at the very end a set of metrics 
align with the with the focus areas we are interested in in analyzing. In the repository we have for uh, diversity and inclusion, which is in github.com slash chaos. I'm copying now the uh, the link. Mm, here in the chat. So right there, this is the repository I'm, I'm talking about. So if you go through this, uh, you will see like uh, at, in, at meet, 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 meet document that there is metrics focus area. So each of those focus areas, if you click in each of them, so you can go to event diversity, uh, you will see uh, a set of questions that were related to specific names. So for instance, in the event diversity, we have things like speaker demographics, attendees, uh, demographics, diversity, access tickets, code of conduct at events, or family friendliness, right? And for each of them, what we are working on is we have a template that we are all, uh, well, it's time to, uh, we all define, let's say, we have certain areas in the template that we, we try to fill. So, and uh, an example of this, and then this is, I'm linking this to the, to the working group, in, uh, to the working session in, at ChaosCon. Uh, what we did was basically to say, okay, so let's split the people and then let's work on the specific areas. So I'm adding here another example of what I mean. So this is the Google Doc for communication, inclusivity, and listening. Um, we, we, it, was a, it was quite interesting because we got the people uh, to split into groups. So we had groups from one people there, I remember <laughs> one person uh, up to, well, one, two persons up to six, seven. And we were working in five main areas. So we have, as the example, communication, inclusivity, listening. So we were working at the, uh, oh, we didn't work here. Let me, I added the wrong one. Uh, let me go to the issues again. So the speaking perhaps. I remember someone was working in the, yeah, here we go. So please open this other document. Okay. Um, so we were working in, in, in each of the areas. So uh, right coming back to the discussion before, so what we are defining here is a description. Uh, we want to work on sample objectives, sample strategies, success metrics and some resources if there are if there are some and then at the very end what we did was basically to add ourselves um, as participants because we want to uh, have everyone recognized right as part of the of the group so we've we've done this uh, for five in five tickets so in five google docs and in five areas for five questions that were not um, uh, started yet and this was basically the work in the in the group what other uh, documents did you work on? Okay, so we have this. Um, those were the the issues that Tom Foster assigned to herself during the last week. So I think it was contribution sentiment, perhaps perceived value, communication, inclusivity, listening, speaking, and captioning. And I think those were the five. So those, those are, there is a presentation. The, in the presentation, we have the links indeed. So, okay. So I'm now looking for the chaos con. Okay, this is the. So, did you actually work in all of those? Because I got updates only on this um, speaking one. Yeah, my. Uh, perhaps what happened is that we asked the people to fill directly the Google Doc, but they were working in some other document. So that might be the the issue here, but. What we are, what we are uh, going to do is just, as I think I know all of the people involved in the five groups, we will try to reach them again. Because we have, we had indeed at the very end, three minutes uh, presentation, presentation each of, for each of the five groups. So we have five presentations at the end. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you for facilitating that we got more, uh, more metrics fleshed out. That's good. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm sharing right now the presentation we had with uh, uh, during ChaosCon. So this is the last PDF. 
Um, yeah, so this was uh, mainly a recapitulation of ChaosCon. So we had, at least from the 50 people, perhaps, I don't know, 30, 40 of them, well, 30 maybe, working them because at the very end, that this was at the very end of the day, so some people left and so on. So. But yeah. Okay, so this is all from ChaosCon. I don't know if you have some specific comments about this. Okay. Uh, then during FOSDEM, I have to say I didn't have the time to attend any of the talks of the community track. So um, I think it's the more related one with our own purposes here in this working group. So a more yeah. directed question is uh, during ChaosCon or FOSDEM, mm -hmm. did you or anyone else have conversations about the goals of the working group? No. Not me directly, at least. So I cannot provide feedback with this respect. Maybe okay. Tom Foster can help. I don't know. Well, she's not here, but we can ask her by email or next week. And then, well, uh, then I presented this uh, talk at FOSS in the Python Dev from about gender diversity gap in the uh, Python community. Uh, well, not the Python community, but the uh, all of the people in, uh, working at the Python, uh, github.com slash Python. So I did a small quantitative analysis as in other communities. Um, the interesting question for this meeting right now would be, how can I access the dashboard? And then we go for to uh, the discussion we've had in terms of ethics and accountability and how to aggregate all the information and so on. So this is still an open discussion. Um, still there okay and it's being re it was recorded i assume it was them, yeah. So. yeah it was yeah. maybe you can post to the mailing list once the video is online oh yeah yeah oh, and the chaos count was already was uh, recorded as well by kevin so kudos to kevin yes kevin uh, and i are going to work on the videos and upload them to youtube okay so kudos to georg thank you <laughs> Okay, um, should we move to the next topic, the agenda? Okay, um, so we have this uh, revisit and update goals for 2019. Um, feedback from ChaosCon for then, we don't have any, I'm afraid. So um, do you have around the link uh, for the goals, uh, Georg? Because we I can know. share with with I do. Oh, sorry. okay, thank you. Because there is basically where we are detailing the goals for 2019. Um, we decided to basically close. Uh, uh, yeah, what what we are trying to achieve during this year. Uh, in the case, right, uh, you are more than welcome to to give comments or if you have any anything you would like to to discuss about or work with. Um, yeah, and we spent a lot of time on these last time. It was just if you had talked to anyone about these goals mm -hmm. at Boston or ChaosCon. Yeah. Uh, um, next week when Dawn is back, maybe she had some feedback. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the only feedback uh, related to this group that I had during ChaosCon was the uh, what Dawn already wrote in terms of uh, the, IR the IRC channel. That, that we had people that didn't even know that we had an IRC channel. And in some other cases, this was used for Google Summer of Code students. So, well, that was the uh, the general IRC uh, chaos uh, IRC channel. But this is including this group, of course. But that was all. Perfect. Mm. Thank you. Okay. So, if you go for the next uh, item, so we have an update on last week's action items. Um, what we have here, so we have the, uh, uh, well, we can start with the readme file. So Nicole was involved there. So maybe Nicole, you would like to mention about your, the work you've been doing with Ben. Nicole, are you available? Nicole, you might be on speaker. I okay. mean, on, on mute. 
rather? Oh, sorry. I, I muted my phone, but I didn't unmute on uh, on the computer. Thank you, Sarah. Um, sorry. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. I'm sorry. I was looking at the goals document, um, Danielle. When you um, when you asked me to comment on something, well, which part would you like me to comment on? Uh, would be great, basically, to have feedback from the from the goals. So, yep. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I was I was uh, actually looking at the goals with a fresh eye. Um, because I've been working on the uh, the README file, um, and we've been um, we've been wanting to uh, to work across the work groups, the um, the growth maturity decline work group, and the DNI uh, work group, and and make the README files more consistent. So I was I was actually just just looking at. Uh, the goals document with with that in mind, and um, and again looking at uh, the objective one, the use cases and project partners and and mission and that. Um, but I'm I'm not sure necessarily if I have any more um, input on the uh, our goals for 2019. Um, Nicole? I actually think, yeah. Uh, maybe you can talk about the README work that you've been doing. I saw the email you sent earlier. Sure, sure. Let me put, let me put a link. Um, one moment. Okay, um, so I was comparing the, uh, if, if we can navigate to that page, if everyone has it. Um, so if you look at the top of this page in this Google Doc, um, I, was, I was basically comparing in outline form and further along in the doc you'll see that I grabbed some of the content so I went into the repo <clears throat> uh, in the um, for, for gr the growth maturity and decline work group uh, said something along the lines of advancing our readme file and if you look at um, github for the growth maturity and decline Work group. Its current structure I've list, listed at the top. The proposed structure is what's in the repo in terms of how they're thinking about restructuring <clears throat> their README file. And I have a couple of questions that I need to ask Ben um, because some of the places where I've listed, I've highlighted in red. Um, where it seemed there seemed to be a little duplication, um, but essentially the proposed structure is how they're how they're um, how they're restructuring um, uh, or or updating uh, the structure of their README, and then at this at the top of the second page for diversity and inclusion work group. This is our current structure. Um, this is what we have listed on our README file today. So introduction, mailing list, meetings, and so on. And then right below that, I have what my findings were after comparing and contrasting the two README files. So there was a difference in just some of the sequencing. So a lot of the items were similar, you know, were, were the same in terms of um, what they were in both README files. There was some difference in their ordering or their sequencing. And then there were a few differences 
in what the uh, gross maturity decline readme file contained versus what the um, DNI um, readme file contained. So the um, gross maturity decline readme file contained maintainers, um, whereas ours contained contributors. And I, I actually, um, I liked listing. I mean, my opinion, but I, I actually liked uh, listing both maintainers and um, core contributors. I agree um, with that. Yeah, it seems like a nice way to, you know, it seems like a nice way that we're handling that, where we're um, acknowledging. Um, and, and I will let everybody know, I have not been back to Ben with any of these findings yet. Um, I wanted to have this discussion with our group first, um, but I was going to propose that as a, a suggestion. <coughs> um, the last two bullets, the third and fourth bullets here, are what were, or kind of what was um, included. <clears throat> uh, so, in in one and not the other. So. What is not currently in in our README file or in the DNI README file, but is in the in the GMD README file, is usage. And let me explain. One of the reasons that I listed the content um, as I was going through this, it was helpful to me, and I was hoping it would be helpful to to others as well. Um, when they say usage, what I've gathered that they mean, mean by usage is how the repository is being used, meaning how, how they're, meaning that they're using the repository at the GMD work group level as a working area and when they release a version of their metrics, they're up-leveling that to the chaos project level repository. So the usage area of their um, readme file is essentially how they're using the repository itself. Um, the the discussion forum, I was thinking, um, yeah, they, they have a discussion forum, implementations. The implementations hasn't been, the implementations and the use cases haven't necessarily been filled out yet. And I think that statement is actually more true for the implementations section. So I wasn't able to glean too much from that yet. And then the license. Um, Included in our in, in the DNI README file and not yet in theirs was roadmap for 2019, software work, and related works. Based on that, and I will tell you before I dive into the proposed structure, based on that. And with the emphasis of inviting others to join the DNI work group and participate with us, I, I then came up with this proposed structure, you know, in, in, in light of all of what I just talked about. And, and then with the emphasis of inviting others, I thought, okay, well, introduction and background made sense and then key focuses made sense and I'm thinking well really we already have that and I, and I was thinking this was to give those who aren't familiar with the DNI work group a flavor for what our key focuses are almost an overview of what we're what we're working on and then in so I have a question Oh, sure. Yeah. So, so background right now we have um, 
in the readme uh, all the things that we had in the goals document i post put that in the background section would that stay the same with problem statement opportunity goal work to date or would background be shorter you know that's a great question um I, I, I honestly need to dive into that a little bit further to see, you know, how would it be different in terms of key focuses. Um, what I, what I am, but here's my, just coming from my perspective, is that I, I think we need to get folks to how they can contribute, you know, to giving them, if, if I think about, um, I, I know a lot of us are, are aware of, of John O'Bacon's work, <clears throat> and and I'm if I think about some of the BKMs that he shares or best practices that he shares, you know he talks a lot about get folks to how can I contribute, how can I dive in and get and get them to um, you know some some concrete ways that they can start to dive in and, and contribute. And I, I feel like we need to get, get, give them an overview and get them, give them what they need to know and, and then get them there pretty quickly to, to some concrete ways that they can start to, to dive in and contribute, which is why in bullet number four, you see that I've moved contributing it up in the sequence, um, that I've moved it further up. So, so I, I guess that's a roundabout way of me saying, I'm, I'm not sure if background and key focuses is too long. Are you, are you, Georg, are you saying it, it might be too long? Yeah, so right now if I imagine this new README, uh, we have a short introduction and then we reiterate some of it in the background. And right now the background, I have to scroll several times before I even get past that. And then we have yeah. key focuses and then how to contribute. Um, I, I was thinking maybe we can shorten the background or move the background into the background <laughs> into further down maybe because I, I fully agree with you we want to get people the information on th that they need to contribute so i think moving the metrics up will be helpful and having ways to contribute and I'm not quite sure what key focuses because I don't think we have key focuses right now. Yeah, and they had focus areas. They meaning the GM, the growth maturity decline work group had um, focus areas and we had metric focus areas. Um, and, and maybe the Maybe this, maybe the metric focus areas is is one and the same. Maybe we could provide a combination of two and three that provide you. I'm I'm just brainstorming at this point, but provide you with. A snippet, right, of, of the information enough, make it sufficient enough so that folks grok the information and, and get enough information to understand what's going on, give them how to contribute, and, and, and provide them either a link to information further down in the document, right, so, so kind of provided in a nutshell, 
with a learn more. Oh, excuse me. A learn more. So that if they wanted more, they could you know, dive into that. But not so much that they get lost in that area. Mm, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, Georg and Nicole, so as it seems there's some controversy about the kind of things we can have in the in the readme file. One of the things we can do if you want so it would be to move the conversation to offline. So we try to have some discussion through, I don't know, what do you prefer, issues or mailing list? What, what, what's better for you, Georg or Nicole? I think this meeting right now is the right forum to Mm -hmm. um, talk about it. Okay, and then so we have I'm, the Google I'm, Doc for mm -hmm. uh, comments. So I already left comments for you, Nicole, and we can go back and forth on the document if Daniel, what you're saying is that we spend enough time on this right now. That's fine. So I'm I'm trying to be to act as a facilitator. So we have 25 minutes, 24. We have a couple of extra things to discuss about. So I'm happy to keep discussing for five, six, six, seven extra minutes. That's all right for me. So just uh, to be aware of this. That's okay. Um, we, we, we can use the to document to, to discuss, it, discuss it back and forth if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and now that I'm speaking, my opinion on this <laughs> would be to have a, a, a simple read me that uh, people can understand with four or five ideas. Um, and then perhaps we can have other pages for each of the area. So for instance, in the, uh, and, and this is a great work, so please don't, don't misunderstand me. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. Um, so uh, perhaps my other concern is basically when people start reading, they are kind of tired at the very end. So perhaps what we can do is uh, contributing. So the way of contributing here is this, 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 and these channels. And, um, but the, how to do this or, or the process is uh, detailed in this document. And then we can go to the contributing dot uh, markdown, and perhaps we can work in the in in, in the same way with with other uh, with the other part because perhaps the goals or the roadmap for 2019 uh, needs of a bigger document. But what's the purpose of having goals and so on? Help people to align to be aligned and and all of this. So and I'm I'm basically happy with the proposed structure in any case. So please continue with the discussion. Should I um, suggest I don't I don't want to um, you know I, I know we have other things to discuss here, um, Danielle. So should we? How about should, I guess I suggestion? <clears throat> should we take between now and next Monday to for for the group um, to weigh in with their suggestions and and next next week and um, and see where we are with this and then at that point I can I, I can um, you know float the content in into the different sections mm -hmm. um, um, oh, okay so um, I'm happy to keep discussing about this for for a few minutes for a few more minutes um, in any case perhaps uh, regarding to your question, what we can do is to uh, have two, three, four questions that we want to ask the community, so in the mailing list, and then basically try to have answers or or at least to have some discussion there before before Monday. So, for instance, it comes to my mind, and perhaps these are really uh, uh, directed questions, in my, directed in the meaning of... Um, Having a question that is uh, trying to to address the expected answer, so maybe this is not the best question. But uh, what I'm looking for is something like um, we are proposing this in the in the new readme file. Um, for instance, we would have all of the information in the readme file. So, what do you think about this? Or perhaps we we can have this uh, readme file and split the readme file into several sections, and those would be basically the the structure of the uh, DNI working group. But I, I would try to ask 
these kind of things. And then if we want to go uh, to the specific, um, let's say the content of what we have, then we can go for, for those questions. Set all of these. I believe that duocracy is something great. So, yeah, I, I personally prefer a one pager for the README. Um, the gold, because it is a separate document in itself, I think we can separate that out. But otherwise, I prefer having everything here. And I'm perfectly fine with having one week now to comment on the Google Doc and going back and forth there about ordering and because that's what you're doing right now nicole right the order yeah and what what i can do <clears throat> yeah so what i can do is um send out if you'd like me to to the mailing list to um to let them know that we're working on this if if they if others would like to comment on this proposed structure. Is that what you're suggesting, Danielle? Oh, yep, that would be great. So if you are volunteering for this, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Okay, thank you. And thank you, Georg, for the notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, then I think we can we can come back to this discussion if we have more time at, at the end. So. Uh, in the meantime, we can go to the next uh, item okay. we have. Thank you for, for all of the discussions. So we have here, uh, uh, so we have more notes like, well, we have it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, the disclaimer about PR. So perhaps Georg, you may, uh, you, you may want to say something here about the new pull request and so on. Yeah. So. I already posted the link to the pull request in the agenda in the meeting minutes. And it's a one line change that I made because we added um, some time ago the paid contributor versus unpaid volunteer contributor mm -hmm. as a demographic information. And we had talked about how this information might be misunderstood about how welcoming a community is. And so I added this one line basically saying that the, the try, try to clarify why we added it and that it should not be misunderstood. So my question to you all is, what do you think about this added note, uh, which is in line 26? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically the, the note says dimensions of, it's in, it's in the section we have the, the several dimensions of demographics and the note says that paid versus unpaid contributors can indicate the culture within a project but should not be mistaken for how welcoming a community is towards uh, volunteers. Uh, this works for me, so I don't know if there are other opinions, I don't think I can even merge this. Any other comments? Uh, I would oh. leave it open for uh, some time, especially for those who cannot make it today. Okay. So we can leave this open. Um, do you think it makes sense if we ask in the mailing list about this or why not? Um, Maybe not. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. But if you approve of it, you can you can approve the pull request and then We'll wait for others to um, I have to say I'm not an expert in this field, so uh, maybe I'm not the right person to do this. So uh, maybe Nicole, Rai, or Sarah, you have an opinion here? No comments? That's fine. We can leave mm -hmm. it as is. Okay, so we leave this open. That's okay. Um, I don't know if you have, Georg, any uh, comment on the funding for outreach or some of code? No, so, just currently at Sloan working on it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have a request about, uh, uh, what's, what, what's about the next? 
the next one was we added the goals of the roadmap for 2019, the goals, and we wanted Ben's feedback, and that's done. Ben commented on the pull request and we merged the pull request. Okay, so I'm updating this. Perfect. Um, well, the next one was the, the agenda for, for today. Then, uh, more things. So we have a core contributor, review contributors. Um, I propose that we add uh, Sarah Conway as a core contributor. Yep, that's good. She has been very helpful in these meetings, showing up regularly. Mm -hmm. Sarah, are you okay with that? Yeah, thank you very much. Just happy to. Awesome. Right. Uh, I'll create I think, a pull request. Okay, yeah, so we can send to the mailing list to the rest of the people. That's great. And regarding to contributors in general, uh, the idea about having the, 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 the working session at ChaosCon was to, uh, well, to have people involved and they have contributed. So we have to add them in the specific uh, area of the contributors. So first, we would need to uh, look for, to, to fill the other documents. So this is probably uh, something we can, or I can try to do to recover all of the information we had. And the second step would be to add all of the um, contributors to the list of contributors that we have. Okay. Uh, then the last point for today, well, one of the last points for today is to go through the open pull requests. So. Uh, so far, there are there are a couple of them by Georg. Um, the, the the paid and unpaid disclaimer something to do there. Uh, the other the working group was oh, it's just uh, um, yeah uh, to have a coherent way of naming the working group. Yeah, you can just merge that. Yeah, I can. Thank you. Same. Merging this right now, which is the pull request number 159. And this is basically a, a naming convention between uh, work group and working group. So we are having now everything as working group with capital letters. So I'm merging this now. Yeah, the paid versus unpaid we leave open for feedback. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Um, yeah, so um, more things. So we have, I guess we have almost everything for, for today. Um, what do you prefer to work now? Like, should we go Let's back to the discussion we have? Facilitator and note taker for next time. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, I have a question for Rai about um, what brought him here and how we might be able to help. But let's determine facilitator and note taker real quick. Any volunteers? I'm, I think I have. I can be note taker. Oh, thank I you. I can Sarah. be note taker next week. Sure. Thank you. Unless anyone else wants it, I'll do the facilitator. Um, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Right. I have a question for you about sure. um, what, what brought you here and what, how we might be able to help you um, or be able to partner with you or something. Well, uh, Hyperledger in general has a, you know, a diversity and inclusion problem and uh, chaos is a project that we want to work with. Uh, to help advance our goals and help advance the goals of chaos. And uh, that doesn't sound quite right. To help advance the group's goals. Um, so uh, I'm the community, the one of the community architects for Hyperlinger. And uh, this aligns with my goals is to, you know, increase our diversity and inclusion and figure out how we can do better. So 
that's why I'm here. And okay. I should say too that um, there, you know, Hyperledger isn't necessarily unique in this challenge, and the LF in general is hoping that um, some of our projects become more active in chaos and work with the chaos group. And um, we're sort of designating Hyperledger as um, like a pilot for us to really try to integrate with the work you're doing here, and then, um, you know. I lost you, Sarah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I was going to. Sorry. Um, yes, Hyperledger is not unique in this challenge with a lot of the projects within the Linux Foundation. And we're hoping to use them as a pilot to start to integrate more closely and tightly with the chaos and the work that's going on here. And then we do have a, a desire and a goal to bring this to other projects and um, work more closely with uh, other projects as well. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. Oh, go ahead, Gerd. Yeah, no, that sounds really, uh, really interesting. So, the the question that I have next is then, uh, what what we can do to help with that? Uh, that I don't know right off the bat. I mean, this is my first meeting here, so. Uh, can I reserve answering that question for perhaps a couple of weeks until I understand kind of how the working group works? Okay, how about maybe you have questions for us? Uh, right now, I do not have any questions. Uh, I, uh, I, you know, I only just found out about this meeting and so I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm commuting right now. So uh, I, don't, All right. I don't have any, I don't have any questions, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't mean I, to I would you say, on the spot. I just wanted to extend a hint. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and from and thinking about Hyperledger and other projects within the LF, I would love um, for, I know some of the goals that we saw about use cases and examples and early, you know, pilots and prototypes and have projects use our tools. And um, that's my goal, to see if projects like Hyperledger and others within the LF sort of orbit um, are aware of chaos and DNI and the work that we're doing, and want to sort of volunteer and be uh, early um, prototypes and use case uh, examples. That would be my. I think that'd be a great goal. Wow, that would be if fantastic. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I love that. I love that. And and I for one just want to welcome Roy. Well, welcome you to the group and. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I'm recovering from a cold, obviously, but um, it's great to have you here. And I just want to chime in with what uh, Sarah is saying. It would be uh, would be great to do to do some of that work. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I just thank you. I feel very welcome. I'm glad to be here. Cool. So. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to say that uh, one of the experiences we have here in the working group is uh, uh, when, when uh, Nicole specifically and me, we were working together for producing the use case for OpenStack in this case, OpenStack Foundation, and we were analyzing uh, what gender diversity and other uh, underrepresented groups of people in the community and analyzing mentorship and so on. So my experience from that analysis was that it's a good starting point to understand where you are right now in terms of, uh, well, pure numbers, like from a qualitative perspective, but from a qualitative perspective as well, in the sense of understanding what people think about uh, how, uh, how inclusivity is right now, how inclusive the community is right now in Imperlayer. And this is something we are still we want we still want to do in the OpenStack case, but it might be something really useful. Uh, I would say for any new project and having use cases is would be great. Yeah. Yeah, you know, one of the other things that Danielle and I discovered <clears throat> through that earlier research research was it will be important to pair both the um, the quantitative 
research with qualitative research. It's it's not something that we've done um, thus far, um, but uh, something I think that we're still thinking about is is how do we do that? Um, because we were getting a lot of numbers from the uh, OpenStack community, and I would say over the period of one and a half to two years, I think it was about that, right, Danielle? About one and a half years, maybe. Um, and uh, the, the numbers essentially stayed fairly consistent, fairly steady over time. Um, but uh, it, it, what we found was that, <clears throat> in part, was that we, we wanted to get behind those numbers. And, and to do it was going to take some, some qualitative research and diving into some of the sub-projects. Um, to, to figure out what what could be done to um, to uh, to fill those gaps. So, in fact, one of our research reports actually <clears throat> delineated what 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 we found um, as recommendations for what could be done, and we've started to implement on some of those. But yes, welcome. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. Thanks. Excellent. Well, I will put out a um, uh, an alert to the um, uh, request to the mailing list um, for review of the proposed structure for our README file. I will circle back with Ben on the growth, maturity, and decline uh, work group to let him know where we are in the progress in, in the process. Um, and then I, my, um, my hope would be that we get to a point, um, hopefully by next week, where we've got a um, proposed structure and um, can begin to roll up some of the content into that proposed structure and um, update our readme file. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Nicole. Yep. Right, Thank you, Paul. Yeah, and then I'm also I also have an eye on the um, the Open Source Leadership Summit in March um, to see if we can get uh, uh, we you know we submitted a a session there and I don't know when um, when invite or when acceptances are being extended but um, I am crossing my fingers that we've got um, a session that will be um, presenting on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have not received any any news from the Open Source Leader Summit, so I don't know. Yeah, I know they haven't yeah. gone out yet, so but I can mm. find out when. Okay. Oh, awesome. Thank great. you. Yeah, and I think Sarah, you um, you submitted to um, Oscon, right? I did. I submitted to Oscon and. I feel like there was one other, and then I know we have the Grace Hopper one as something to talk about still. Um, the uh, KubeCon, right, in Barcelona? Oh, KubeCon, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, awesome. Oh, you submitted to KubeCon. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, I did, I did, re I did remember that. That's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, and I've been, I was thinking over the weekend about Grace Hopper. Um, yeah, I, I, re I really want to do that one, too. Okay, great. We can connect. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. Thank you. Well, okay. great. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, so two minutes Thank left. You. I think we can close everything for today. Okay, great. Have a great week, guys. Okay, yep. take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.